Hello, and welcome to Give Me a Tale, a series of book talks about animals here at Clark County Public Library. I'm your host, Miss Alyssa, and let's shake a tail and get into some stories. Today's animal for our stories is... Elephants! All right, so let's look into some facts about our favorite pachyderms. Okay, so let's be like an elephant and not forget our fun facts. So, elephants are the largest existing land animals with only three species, African bush elephant, African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. Well, you may have noticed that elephants have fairly large ears. One of the reasons their ears are so large is because they act as a heat sink. In other words, they help them release heat into the air, letting them keep cool. And another interesting fact about elephants is while they do have some very good hearing due to their large ears, elephants can communicate more with seismics, vibrations. They basically use their leg and shoulder bones to transmit signals from the ground to the middle of their ear, allowing them to hear things that people do from very far away just by feeling the vibrations. So that's pretty neat. So let's look into some neat books that go along with them. If you've ever enjoyed If You Give a Mouse a Cookie or any similar titles, then you are just going to love how I've Got an Elephant by Anne Gingle slowly snowballs out of control. Things don't start off too bad. Our narrator has an elephant and they play together and cuddle all night and everything is great. Until the elephant gets lonely while the narrator's gone and decides to bring home a friend. And everything's good once more until the two elephants get lonely and bring home another friend. How many friends do you think it'll take before someone decides to address the elephant in the room? With charming, colorful illustrations, I've Got an Elephant is a tale you're not likely going to forget. For anyone who likes a bit of color in their life, Ellie by Mike Wu may be a good choice for you. When Ellie and her friends hear that their zoo is going to be closed down, they all try to find a way to save their home. But Ellie can't do the things her friends can, and she doesn't seem to have any talent. Well, at least until she picks up a paintbrush. Considering that some zoos do sell art made by animals, especially elephants, this is a very cute take on the topic. And Ellie helps shows that we can all find something we're good at that could very well help make the world a better place. So, make sure to check this out. Sometimes bad things can happen to animals and they are in need of a rescue. For a true rescue story, The Elephant's New Shoe, written by Laurel Neem, is an excellent choice. This book tells the tale of an elephant named Chuk, who, when he was found, was alone, too skinny, and gravely injured. As the pages turn, you can see how animal rescuer Nick Marks slowly gained his trust and brought him to the rescue center. But even as Chuk recovered and began to find a new family, the loss of his foot stopped him from truly going out and living. So, Nick decides to find a way to get Chuk a new foot. Will he succeed? A good look at both how animal rescue works and how prosthetics can turn entire lives around. This is an excellent story to share with any animal lover, especially with some elephant facts and an author's note on Chuk's current life in the back. So, be sure to check it out.
Want a fast and funny way to learn some facts about elephants? Then, The Truth About Elephants by Maxwell Eaton III is ready to take you for a wild ride. Colorful and cartoony, this book goes over the highlights of many facts about elephants from the parts of their bodies to their social habits, all contained within the main part of the text. But there's plenty of extra information and little signs and labels on each page for those who want to know more. And everything is also gone over in a quick fact file on the final pages. But honestly, the real fun in this book comes in all the side comments from the peanut gallery as they react to everything the text is going over. And it's a laugh to see them all interact with each other as well. Whether sticking with the main text for younger readers or reading every little bit with older readers, this is one factual find that'll make you smile. Well, I hope you found some suggestions that you just can't wait to get your hands on. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Give Me a Tale. Bye-bye!